Chapter 9, A Hundred Years of Celebrations. The Brooklyn Bridge is still famous today, more than a hundred years after it was built. Songs have been written about it. Famous artists have painted up pictures of it. Movies have been shot on the bridge. And of course, people have tried to get famous by doing crazy things, like jumping off the bridge. One year after the bridge opened, P.T. Barnum took 21 circus elephants onto the bridge. He did it to show that the bridge was strong enough to hold a lot of weight. A year after that, a man claimed he could jump from the bridge and survive. He jumped off wearing a red swimming suit and holding one arm straight up in the air. But he was wrong. He died from the fall. In 1886, a man named Steve Brody pretended to jump from the bridge, but didn't really do it. He became famous, even though a lot of people knew he was a fake. A play was written about his supposed jump, and Brody starred in it on Broadway. In 1919, after World War I was over, a fighter pilot flew a bomber plane under the bridge as a pr prank. When the Brooklyn Bridge was 100 years old, New York held a huge party to celebrate. On May 24, 1983, the most amazing fireworks display was set off from the bridge. It looked like fountains of fireworks were spraying from the towers. President Ronald Reagan was there and a parade was held. Boats filled the harbor again. New Yorkers loved it. Today, the bridge is a favorite place for people who are in love. They bring small padlocks with their names or initials written on them. Then they lock them onto the bridge and throw the keys into the river. It's supposed to prove that their love will last forever. More than 5,000 love locks were placed on the bridge in 2013 alone. Most of them are taken off though. The bridge workers think the locks are bad for the bridge and a hazard to drivers below. In 1964, the Brooklyn Bridge was named as a National Historic Landmark by the National Park Service. That means it has importance for the whole country. For example, the White House is also a National Historic Landmark. One of the best but quietest celebrations was the one held in 1951. That's when a plaque was added to the bridge in honor of Emily Roebling. The sign praised her faith and courage in helping her sick husband. It was put on the bridge by a group of engineers who knew how important she had been. It was their way of saying that without the Roeblings, John, Washington, and Emily, the Brooklyn Bridge wouldn't be what it is today.